So we're going to show you some basic Excel things. We'll start by opening a CSV file, go to File and Open. Then you need to select all files to be able to see CSV files. Now one of the two stocks files here is a CSV file. We'll expand the type and we see Microsoft Excel comma separated file. So that's a file with lots of stock price data for different companies. You can see here Kraft and uh, but what we first do is we're going to do some basic formula work. So I'm going to create a little table with a few names and ages. And what I now want to calculate is the average age. So you go into the cell underneath. Average is a function that Excel has by default. You highlight all the fields from which you want to calculate the average and press enter. Of course, the average, you know, you can also calculate as the sum of all data. So we use the sum function and divide. So we have 190 is the sum, and then we take that sum and divide by the number of observations. In our case, we have six observations. And we, of course, get the same result as for the average function by Excel. So let me create another little table. Again, a few names with weight and height. And now I want to calculate the body mass index. The body mass index is the weight in kilograms divided by the height, but squared. That's why I had the little hat to the two. And then if you want to copy that, you just drag that file down. So here we have the body mass indices for all the people in our table. Now I want to tell you something about copying formula. There's one very important thing. So let's just copy that first formula across. Let's assume we wanted another column with exactly the same data. So we'll take that first value and we copy it across. You can see it's a different value. Why is that? Well, that f you can see that formula doesn't refer to the weight and height anymore, but to the height and BMI. That is because we have basically, we, we're working with relative cell references. So when we copy that across, we actually don't want that B2 and C2 to change. In particular, we don't want the column reference to change. So therefore, we put a dollar sign in front of the column, the B and the C. If we now copy that across, we can see that we still have B and C here, and we still refer to the same correct cells. And then we can just copy everything across, and everything refers to exactly the correct cells. Now, slightly different, let's assume we want to calculate the body mass index, index of everyone, assuming they all have the height of Jim. 184. So as we now copy the cell down, the C2 shouldn't change. It should always be C2. Therefore, we put a dollar in front of the C and the 2, and then copy everything down. And this is now an absolute cell reference. And you can see that wherever we copied it, it still refers to C2. Now back to our stock data. Let's assume we wanted to work with the date, company, and the close variables. It's then a good idea to copy them onto an, a new sheet. So we we'll copy them on sheet 2. So we highlight column A, B, and F. Press Control c and go to New Sheet and Control v to paste the data in. So that's all the data which we want. Now let's say we want to select certain subsets. We go to the Data tab and click on Filter and we can see that in the top we get these little triangles in each column. And when we click on it we can use the menu which pops up to select certain subsets. So let's go to Company. Let's say we only want the Boeing data. So we just select Boeing here. And what we are left with is 301 observations just of Boeing data. We could now just click, uh, quickly print a line graph for these. We highlight C, go to Insert, and go to Line Graph, click, and we have a very, very quick graph of all the price data for Boeing over our sample period. But let's say we want a different selection. Instead of just Boeing, let's say we want GE and IBM. So we just click 
2.2, pretty straightforward. And let's say we don't want all the data for these, but only those from 2001, uh, say 1991 to 2000. So we go to between, we select the date here, the starting date, we can use the calendar tool, or we can just use the uh, uh, drop down menu to find our first observation, let's say January 1991, that's here, and then the last observation December 2000, so we'll just need to find it here, where's December, here it is, okay, and now we click OK, and now what we have here, what we can see is just the GE and IBM data, and just for 91 to 2000. Okay, so I want to show you something else, how the VLOOKUP command works. That's a very important command. We open VLOOKUP test, that's a file with two sets of data, a table with smoking and crime statistics. In each table we have data for different regions in England and Wales as well. That's the crime uh, table, so we have different regions here as well. We have little sub-regions as well, but we are not really interested in them. But that's often the case that you have data which you don't want. What we want is we want to create a new table with all the regions. And we want to extract the non-smoking and heavy smoking statistics from the smoking table. They're here in column C and in column I. That's the never smoking. And then uh, we also want from the crime table for each region we want the total proportion or rates of crime per thousand of population that's there, robberies there and drug offenses are there. So how do we get the data into this new table? The solution is here uh, and if you have the file you can look at it but let's do it from start. So we'll use the VLOOKUP command. It's incredibly useful. If you know this command you know so much more than most others. So go to the first cell. We type in VLOOKUP and we want to find the northeast region in another table. Okay, so which table is that? We want to find it in, to find it in the smoking table, and now we highlight the table from which we extract it. We need to make sure that the region is the first column in that table. And that has eight columns, we have the never smoking data and the eighth column, the heavy smoking in the second column. So we want the never smoking data first, and since it's in the eighth column, we type column comma eight. That tells Excel to look in the eighth column and then comma false. If you type comma false it ensures that it only finds exact matches to northeast. Okay. So in here we have our data and that's exactly what we want. If we now copy this down, because we want the northwest data as well, if you look at the formula, we'll see A3 changed to A4 to select northwest, but the table smoking also changes because in uh, cell B3 used we used relative references. We want to change them to absolute references and put the dollar signs in. So we copy it again and we can now see that the A3 and A4 still changes but the table stays the same, which it should be because we'll select all the data from the same table. Then we can just copy down and we get all the non-smoking statistics for all regions. Now for heavy smoking, we basically use the same formula just that instead of column 8 we want column 2 because that's where the heavy smoking data are and here we go easy peasy about the crime data again we look up and we want northeast but now we need to define a new table where to look at it's in the crime data so we highlight the crime table where we get our data from it has 11 columns that's the last column we need the 11th, the last column in that table we don't need. Again, region is the first column. So the total crime is the second column of that highlighted table and again we want to use false to indicate that we only want exact matches. Uh, first we adjust to absolute cell references for the table. So the crime table always stays the same where we are looking at. Okay, so Let's just check that we got the right data. Northeast 62.62 per thousand population. So 62.2 crimes per thousand population. Burglaries in the sixth column and drug offenses are in the eleventh column. So now we'll copy across this formula to get the burglary data and the drug offenses. So something isn't quite working yet. Let's check. Ah, because the first cell now refers to B3 instead of A3. So we'll change it to A3. Um, and that to A3 as well. 
and we need to change the columns to 6 and 11 because that's where burglary and truck offenses are so now we got the right data for the northeast we just need to copy all of these down and we have all the data but for one just the Yorkshire and Humber something didn't quite work so why is that it worked for the smoking table and now and for the crime it worked for the other region so let's just check exactly what we are looking for so the region is called Yorkshire and Humber in the sm in the smoking table in the crime table it's called Yorkshire and Humber site okay so that's the problem in merge we are looking for Yorkshire and Humber so it doesn't find that in the crime table because it says Yorkshire and Humber site so we just need to change that to Yorkshire and Humber and immediately we will have the right solution so that's great if you understand VLOOKUP you need to practice that's great